What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with a full review for you of the Pantech Element. This is one of the new tablets that was announced by AT&T at CES 2012 and is now ready to be bought by your tablet loving hands. There's a lot of competition in this 8 inch tablet range. So let's go ahead and dig in and see if the Element is worth your tablet buying dollar. All right, so let me run through the specs of the Element to refresh your memory. Uh, first, the price is $299 with a two-year contract. There's also a deal going on. You can get this with the Pantech Burst, uh, a 4G LTE smartphone, uh, for $249 to get both of them uh, on a two-year contract. This guy is running Android 3.2. Presumably, we'll see Ice Cream Sandwich on it. Uh, in the future, but right now it is rock and honeycomb. From a dimension standpoint, it's 8.36 inches by 6.12 inches by 0.42 inches on the thinness or thickness side, depending on who you ask, or not your glass half empty or half full kind of person. Uh, and it weighs 16.57 ounces. What you are looking at, this slab has an 8 inch screen, and it's always measured diagonally with a resolution of 1024 by 768, and that is a TFT display, and we'll talk about that display a little bit more as we go on. Uh, battery, it is a sealed 6400 milliamp hour unit. It's gonna get you 12 hours of usage, or 25 days on standby time. Uh, it's being powered by a Qualcomm built 1.5 gigahertz processor, and if you like to follow all the processors and you're a nerd like me, it's the APQ8060. Uh, it's got a gig of RAM from an internal storage. It's got 16 gigs, expandable with micro SD. On the back of this guy, boom, we've got a five megapixel camera that lives right there that can shoot 720p video. And you've got a front facing, haha, -ha, two megapixel camera right there for front facing stuff. Uh, it's got support for AT&T's uh, expanding LTE network and Bluetooth 2.1. And it is named the Element because it is actually waterproof. Um, this guy, and it's not water resistant, uh, Pantec is saying it is waterproof. So stick around for a few minutes later into this review uh, when things get a little more fun. All right, so let's talk about the design. It looks like a tablet. Uh, it's got a really nice feel to it. Uh, the black plastic back and the way the tablet felt in the hand reminded me a lot of the HTC touchpad. Uh, it's an extremely light tablet at 16.5 ounces, so you hardly even know uh, that you're holding it. I do like the 8-inch uh, form factor as well. Uh, generally, I've been preferential to larger screen size tablets, uh, but this one really felt handy. Uh, nice, especially while you know reading or browsing out of the web. We'll talk about that uh, a bit more later. Um, I do like the integrated speaker here on the side. It was quite loud. Cameras, again, we'll talk about that kind of stuff. Um, because this is a waterproof tablet, there's all kinds of sort of nuances here to be aware of. So the power button here is almost recessed and you've got this sort of plastic ring around that you've got to really push in. All the ports here on the bottom where micro USB live, HDMI out, you can see them all right there. Um, and the SD card and SIM card slot are all under this door. So a lot of doors to do everything here. Um, 3.5 millimeter headset jack uh, also under that door. So if you live somewhere where it rains a lot or you like to browse the web while you're in the pool or in the shower, um, you, know, you might want to take a look uh, at the element. All right, so let's talk briefly about some of the Pantech tweaks. And I've actually liked what Pantech has done with Android. They've really let Android be Android. In this case, they've let Honeycomb be Honeycomb with a few tweaks. So you notice some stuff outwardly. The buttons here are a little bit different. They look they don't look like standard Android buttons. The icons here look a little bit different as well. The settings and the camera button are a little bit different. Um, some of the stuff that they've done that I like, if you go ahead and jump on into the camera, and you will because I'm controlling it, uh, some things down here that can jump right into settings uh, are quite nice. So we'll go ahead and go back home. Um, nothing else overly exciting here. The apps are pretty standard apps. Pantech has included a few things here uh, that at and uh, included as well. So you've got a sketchpad, you've got a PC suite. Um, and you got some AT&T specific stuff. Uh, but for the most part, this is pretty stock honeycomb. I'll show you what the widgets are. This is generally where you see some differentiation. Uh, not so, um, pretty standard honeycomb, uh, which I like. I don't like doodling up everything. Uh, some other changes here, you know, some small stuff as far as how notifications uh, look and are handled. Every time I use a honeycomb tablet now after using ice cream sandwich, I keep trying to swipe stuff off to close it. 
but to no avail. All right, so this is a tablet. You're looking at the screen a lot. You can spend a lot of time looking at this 8 inch 1024 by 768 TFT display. And unfortunately, it's not going to be an overly enjoyable experience. This is not a good screen. Uh, I've tested a lot of tablets ranging in different prices. Uh, this is probably one of the worst screens uh, that I have tested. So let me go ahead and show you. Uh, it's sort of going to be difficult to translate from camera. Um, things here are washed out. Um, text, and because of the decent resolution, it does look crisp, uh, but the screen itself, the colors don't look vibrant, the blacks don't look very black. Um, it's just not an enjoyable experience uh, to use. Now that might be due to the fact that it's waterproof. So you gotta have a special type of glass on here, and it's gotta be sealed all the way around. The screen was actually so bad that I thought it might actually be a resistive touchscreen, uh, and I had to sort of test it with something that wasn't my finger to make sure that it wasn't. So if you go ahead and look at gallery, scroll, scroll over here, and I'll show you what you know, some pictures look like. So here are some sample pictures. So these are sample pictures from Pantex. These are the best representations that they can show. And cute dog, really washed out. The greens hardly look green. The black on the dog, just, it just doesn't look nice. Um, and watching video, it's about what you'd expect for that same experience. Here's some sample video. So the best of the best is the best it's supposed to look like. Just does not look nice. Um, and it doesn't look nice in the relative of other tablets, so it's certainly watchable. You can watch a movie on it, uh, you could browse the web, um, but knowing that it exists in a world of AMOLED uh, screens, um, this one just doesn't quite cut it, uh, unfortunately. Um, all right, so let's talk about speed. It's got a dual core 1.5 gigahertz Snapdragon processor. Uh, this has been a pretty zippy tablet, actually. Uh, screen complaints aside, it's been really quick. I didn't have to do any memory management. Uh, it works well. Um, you know, browsing was very smooth, pinch to zoom, uh, worked very well. Uh, LTE, which was sort of just launched in Southern California, so it's a bit spotty. Uh, when it was working, worked very well. Uh, but everything about the, the tablet from a speed standpoint uh, was quite pleasant. Uh, so it was definitely a fast and capable uh, tablet. Uh, battery, so you're going to have a giant battery, 6400 milliamp hours. And I was definitely uh, able to get that 12 hours of use. I used this guy well over a weekend, so probably more other than that 12 hours and I let it just play video. Uh, and it lasted as advertised. So, you know, that's a positive. Generally, there's a bit of fibbing when it comes to battery life, but not so with Pantec. Um, all right, so let's get to the fun stuff. This is a waterproof tablet. And because it's a waterproof tablet, it's gotta be waterproof. And I wouldn't be doing justice to you, my audience, if we didn't test how waterproof it was. So, let's go for a walk. So let's say you're watching one of your favorite tech reviewers and you're strolling into your kitchen, seeing what's going on in the world of technology. And you know what? You're thirsty. You want something to drink. You've had a long day. You're parched. You're a little dry in the throat. You want to go ahead and have a glass of water, let's say. Refreshing. I fooled you, didn't I? You thought I was going to spill some water on it. Nope. So I'm just using the tablet and uh oh, sink full of water. Is it still playing the video? Look at that. It is indeed still playing the video while completely submerged uh, in water. And it is indeed submerged pretty deep, actually, uh, in water. And the video is still playing. The tablet hasn't blown up. Still going. Let's see if I can use it uh, while it's there. So let's see if I can go ahead and tap the screen. Go ahead and go back. It looks like it wants to work. Let's see if I can browse the web while it's under there. Nope, so you can't do anything with it, but it will still work if you leave it. So if you're watching a video or something while it's underwater, um, it's still going to function. Let's see if I take it out of the water if it works, if it didn't <laughs> just break it. Um, all right, so let's pull the tablet out. And you can see that it was submerged in water. Um, and appears to be working. Let's see if I can tap the screen. Screen, maybe it work with wet fingers. I'm gonna dry off my hands. So we'll come back in just a sec. All right, so the tablet survived. The screen wasn't working when it was wet. I had to dry it off and hit the power button. Um, I didn't have to turn it off. I just had to lock it and then unlock it. And we're back working again. So this guy was submerged underwater and um, you know, still working. So you can see where we were left off in the video. And everything is still sort of going, um, buffering. But the tablet works. It is a waterproof tablet. I give Pantech credit. Um, I definitely thought that I was going to have a <laughs> broken tablet on my hands, but Pantech Element is indeed waterproof. You can see it's still got water on it. Uh, let's go ahead and 
finish up the review. All right, so we saw a lot of stuff with the Pantec Element. Uh, it is indeed a waterproof tablet. You can do whatever you need to do while you are underwater, if you'd like, if you're in a rainy environment, uh, if you happen to drop your tablet in a puddle or you drop it in the toilet, um, it's going to keep working. Oh, after you drop it in the toilet, you might want to rub it down with some Clorox. Um, you're still going to be able to use it. Uh, for the price point of $299, there's a lot of tablets in that competition. And that's $299 with a two-year contract. But granted, you're getting LTE connectivity, but this would not be the tablet I would want tethered to me uh, for the next two years. Uh, the screen is really the big reason for that. It's just not enjoyable to use. In a world of Galaxy tabs and iPads, uh, this would not be the one that I would choose for my tablet buying dollar. However, if I was an outdoorsman or I wanted to take the snowboarding and I was somewhere where I needed that waterproof uh, bit of edge, then the element would be something I would consider. Uh, otherwise, uh, your best to, best to pass, especially now when ice cream sandwich is readily becoming available, uh, it's tough to recommend a tablet that's not going to come with it um, right away. So I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. I hope you enjoyed my full review of the Pantech Element, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.